honest with you, there is a different, there's an alternative to using these websites to find out what your home is worth that is going to be much more <laughs> valuable for your time and your effort and understanding. And the simple answer, ladies and gentlemen, is hey everybody, it's Ben Murphy. I'm a realtor with EXP here in Lexington, Kentucky. Welcome back to Living in Lexington. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the channel where we talk about everything it means to live in Lexington, Kentucky, including all the surrounding areas like Georgetown and Versailles, Winchester and Paris. So wanted to jump into today and we are going to talk about Redfin.com, Realtor.com and Zillow.com. And we're going to compare and contrast and figure out which one is best suited for when it comes to shopping for a new home and looking to purchase or sell your current home. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's break down all three different sites, ladies and gentlemen. If you've never heard of Redfin.com, it is just like Realtor.com, Zillow.com. It does have a brokerage platform known for lower commission rates um, than some of the other platforms out there. So it helps more of the sellers save money, sometimes thousands of dollars when it comes to listing their homes. And if you try to list your home on uh, SBSO.com, for those of you who don't know, that's for sale by owner. Dot com uh, they will show up on their website within the 48 hours of you actually listing it so that's just one of the major differences when it comes to the different websites but that's redfin.com so let's talk about realtor.com real quick so realtor.com ladies and gentlemen is actually probably considered the most accurate real estate listing site so each site actually um, does its own listing estimates and realtor.com has been known to be closer um, and accurate more than some of the other websites. And it actually has access to over 580 different MLS databases across the United States. Again, getting more access to homes. Um, its database is going to be much more up to date than some of the other ones as well. And so Redfin Zillow are relatively new to the game uh, with um, both of them launching in the early 2000s. And they are actually still growing in their own rel marketplace relatively. So finally, the Zillow, ladies and gentlemen, just like Realtor.com, is an online uh, real estate marketplace, basically. So, But it works a little slightly different than Redfin itself. So you, as a seller, can actually upload your properties directly to Zillow.com and upload your photos and all of the um, different information that comes with your home. But um, one thing I need, need to say, it does draw a ton of traffic compared to um redfin.com so if you're going to talk about the three different sites you're probably going to go realtor zillow and then redfin if you're going to rank them based on traffic based on um, people going to the websites and utilizing those websites but you know zillow does offer the estimates as well it's not as accurate as realtor.coms but we will get back into that here in a second when we start talking more about the estimates Hey everybody, before we continue with the video, gotta do me a quick favor, please click that like button. It's gonna help get these videos out there, especially for anyone who's trying to research, learn a little bit more about Zello, Realtor.com. And also, if you are trying to research more about the area, you gotta hit that subscribe button. We're gonna be posting videos every single week talking about all the different areas of Lexington, Kentucky. So if you're trying to move here, then you gotta subscribe to the channel. Let's get back to the video. So let's talk about the pros and cons when it comes to Redfin.com and all the other different websites. Redfin pros, ladies and gentlemen, they actually have considerable amount of discounts when it comes to home sellers and rebates for buyers. They actually partner with great agencies, with teams of realtors. They have salaried agents that work with their own website. So you will be able to find realtors through these websites. Uh, with our team, we are actually partnered with realtor.com um, on different levels and we actually um, get clients from them and we help clients you know, find homes and sell their properties through those sites as well. So if you don't know a realtor or don't know how to find a realtor, uh, these websites actually offer a really cool avenue for you to find access to realtors. Some of the cons when it comes to working on Redfin or working with Redfin is um, they actually have three times the amount of customers to agents. So it's very, very possible that agents can get overextended and you can get lost in the shuffle and uh, when agents are working on strictly commission, they actually have to split their commission with the websites themselves. So, you know, if they're working with clients that they didn't find on Redfin versus working with you, if you found you on Redfin, um, you could take a back seat when it comes to prioritizing and helping you find your home or helping you sell your home 
um, because they know the bigger payday is actually over here. So just kind of understand that when you're trying to find a realtor through these websites that it could be a little bit more of a struggle and a frustration. Um, another con is they have less customer service. So you're going to be waiting on that phone for a long time if you're trying to get some support and get some help. Um, according to all the three different websites and then savings on agent fees are only good if you buy or sell within the first 12 months so it goes up for you so now you're spending more money than you ever wanted to and those can just be huge headaches when it comes to working on redfin.com so some of the pros when it comes to realtor.com ladies and gentlemen is actually it has 99 percent of all mls properties on their database which that's incredible because when it comes to if you're not using an agent to help you find a home or maybe you are using an agent to help you find your home and you want to try to do some research yourself realtor.com is probably your best option when it comes to finding new homes or finding updated homes um, the mls database on realtor.com actually updates every 15 minutes throughout the day so it is getting those new homes if a home listed at nine o'clock by 9 15 it is on their website so you will find them quickly. Um, I will say, you know, our database is faster because it's the direct database. It's the first thing that hits the market. And, you know, if you're like me, you set our buyers up with immediate notifications, especially if we are in the market and you are looking to find that home. Um, the good homes do not last long. They're gone in the first 48 hours. You want to be one of the first ones there. And I set you up to make sure that you are notified first. If it checks all your boxes, we're going to get you out there as soon as possible. So that way we can make sure that we put in an offer before anybody else. And that's part of this game, especially when it was 2020, 2021, you had to be the first one there and you had to have a good, strong offer in or otherwise you had no chance. And so it's cool with realtor.com because they do actually have, if you're starting the process, they do have some financing resources that will help you find out what your mortgage payment is going to be, loans, all that other stuff. So if you're researching, Realtor.com is actually a pretty cool spot to start the whole process itself. And it actually has a highly accurate find a realtor search option. So again, if you don't know any realtors, you don't have any friends that's going to recommend you a realtor. If you don't live anywhere near us here in the Lexington area, you know, you definitely got to hit click that find a realtor option. And um, I mean, I've got a profile on all three major websites, but um, I think I've got my first one on realtor.com and I need to go back in there and update it for sure. But again, if you need to find a realtor, this is a good option for you. So there are a few cons when it comes to realtor.com. I know I'm kind of pitching realtor.com as the, probably the prime online resource. Um, one of the things is they have no for sale by owner support. So you're kind of on your own if you're trying to go through realtor.com and agents, if you are trying to utilize their services, you know, you can actually pay to be the exclusive agent in that area. Um, but it's going to cost you money. So just be aware of that. Uh, you might have to test the waters for a minute to see how much return you get on that investment. But if, if not, you might, you might want to check it out. There is actually less traffic, you know, recently, um, they're making sure seeing who's going to what websites, how many people are going to the websites and Zillow is actually getting three times more traffic than realtor.com, which is kind of crazy, especially with realtor being kind of one of the more, um, professional elite kind of websites when it comes to estimates and all these other things, Zillow is still getting that traffic. So just kind of be aware of that. If you're thinking about listing your home on all these websites, you know, you got to be ready to go on all three. Otherwise you're going to miss it. Um, I will say though, if you sign with a realtor, sign with us, you're going to hit those three websites no matter what. And you're going to be on the main listing database for the state of Kentucky. Well, at least for our, our, our region. And we're going to be mar doing constant marketing for you. So it's, it's one thing to think about saving money, but if you are saving money and you're going to lose money, you definitely want to consider that. And, you know, meeting with a realtor doesn't cost you anything, you know, just meeting with a realtor to figure out what your home is worth through a professional's eyes, what the market is doing is, is critical, especially if you're trying to get top dollar, if you're trying to get to a certain goal, to a certain amount. And, you know, it's, it's something very, very important to think about when it comes to listing your home, especially if you're just trying to do it by yourself, definitely check out our video. I've talked about it before, how to sell your home without a realtor. I'll leave a link here down below in the description box. Check it out. There's a lot that goes into it. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to reach out to us. So when it comes to Zillow, ladies and gentlemen, one of the biggest pros that they have is they probably got one of the most extensive databases 
on the internet at 135 million listings on their website. You're definitely going to have tons of options when it comes to finding a home. I will be honest with you though, as a realtor, I have many a time found a home on Zillow, gone to my database and nowhere to be found. So be careful. Some of those listings may still be on there. I know realtor.com has a button that you can remove pending offers or contingent offers, ones that are already under contract. Um, so that way you're not even looking at them. And uh, for sale by owner listings for Zillow.com, um, you do get support, which is pretty cool. Um, sellers can actually manually add their properties onto Zillow um, relatively quickly and relatively easy. Uh, they have detailed sorting options to find the ideal property if you're trying to find a property on the website itself. And Zillow has a premier agent program for <laughs> agents actually that helps generate leads at a little bit different um, than some of the other websites itself which i think they're trying to attract more of the realtor world into their website so they, they they're, they're doing some different things that's going to help their brand get bigger and stronger um, and that's that's kind of some of the overview of what zillow has to offer different both buyers and sellers and even agents there are a few cons to this website um, one of them that i mentioned before is actually i've talked about it a lot they have a huge margin of error when it comes to their zestimates as they like to call it so if you're trying to figure out what the property value is of your home i highly caution you um, truly relying on those numbers they may give you a ballpark figure but again it could be higher it could be lower you don't want to just completely rely on and whenever you do decide to meet a realtor it's like well zello told me it's worth this Okay, well, Zillow isn't perfect and Zillow isn't completely accurate. It's uh, better to actually trust a trained professional who does this daily, weekly, monthly, and um, knows exactly what's going on in the market. And if you are a realtor, one of the downsides is they do have quite a bit of fees uh, related to their programs. Uh, when you're an upcoming agent, you don't get immediate returns. You don't get that immediate satisfaction. So just be prepared for that if you're an agent and you're thinking about um, jumping onto one of their programs. So let's talk about the accuracy of all the estimates from all three websites. Um, I've actually had family members ask me that live out of state that I'm trying to help, you know, get information on their home. They'll ask me, do these websites, are they pretty accurate? And the short answer is not really. I mean, I'm not even kidding. We're talking about uh, potentially 15 to 25% difference based on the market. I'm not, I'm, I'm being serious about that. And you can go do research yourself and you can figure it out yourself. But uh, coming from a professional, they are usually well off what the price is and what they usually are. So <laughs> trusting the data, I mean, you're looking at a 25 potential 25 grand ballpark figure. It could be higher, it could be lower. So really, if you're trying to figure out um, if whether or not it's the right time to list your home based off what the internet's telling you, it, it's it's going to be real real tough and i'll be honest with you there is a different there's an alternative to using these websites to find out what your home is worth that is going to be much more ta valuable for your time and your effort and understanding and the simple answer ladies and gentlemen is you just gotta call a realtor i'm being serious about that i know i'm being biased i know the idea of listing your home and selling it and not having to pay someone to do it um, sounds fantastic and it sounds like yes I get to save a bunch of money because I don't have to pay somebody but the average home that is sold by for sale by owner ladies and gentlemen is usually sold for 7 to 15 percent less than what it's worth think about that here in Kentucky the average commission for a sale uh, for selling your home is six percent automatically Going with a realtor is going to save you money and it's going to gain you more money. So seven to 15%, you could almost double what you were going to lose and you're still going to pay the realtor to do all of the work for you. Okay. That includes marketing your home, putting, making sure your home is listed on all these websites and all of the MLS databases. And it's, it's going to make that process so much easier for you. Uh, especially when it comes to running open houses, making sure showings are going okay, knowing who's actually coming in and out of your home. Uh, we do a whole video about how to sell your home for, for sale by owners. I definitely recommend you go check it out. Uh, we go deeper into detail into what it takes to actually list and sell your home 
But the short answer of researching and trying to figure out what your home is worth, online's not going to get it for you. It really is. Some of the errors, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to especially Redfin and Zillow.com, they are using data that's only publicly available to them. Okay, so data that may be unaccessible and they just don't think about it. So um, probably the the things that Zillow and Realtor, not Realtor, but Redfin um, re rely on to kind of come up with their estimates is market trends, recent sales, tax records, comparable homes and insurance and lending rates. So th that's really all that they're taking their information on and they're trying to give you an estimate. Again, the margin of error is not close. I mean, it's sometimes six to 10% off when it comes to trying to say what your home is worth. That's for homes that aren't even on the market and homes that are on the market, it's a little bit better because um, your neighborhood might be a little bit more active. That's sometimes in the range between two to 5% off though, but that's still, that is a commission rate off uh, for just paying a realtor to take care of it for yourself. And you know, you're, you're barely saving money at that point and you're having to do all the work when it comes to selling your home. All right, so now let's talk about realtor.com. And like I've said before, realtor.com is probably the most accurate when it comes to online listing sources, sites, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, one of the reasons that they have become kind of a little bit more um, stronger than some of the other websites because they've added three different estimators at this point, And one is Collateral Analytics, Quant Quantarium, <laughs> excuse me for saying and Core Logic. It is therefore, it's best of all three of the sites to use when it comes to um, finding what your home is probably worth. It's got the smallest margin of error. And let me be honest, you need to follow up with a real estate appraisal. Um, if you haven't had one done in a long time, maybe since you bought your home, whether it was five, 10 years ago, not a horrible idea to do it, especially since we've gone through a major market shift in the last three years. Uh, your home could be worth $7,500,000 more than what you paid for. And so it's very, very important to follow up with that. But again, the best option to finding out what your home is worth, um, versus all three of the websites is simply hiring a realtor or not even hiring a realtor. You can actually, most, most realtors will actually give you free estimates. I mean, with us here on our team, we actually go and do free sellers consultations. We talk about your home, we talk about what it's worth. And we also talk about what we do marketing wise and how we help sell your home and make sure we get the best and top dollar with the least amount of headaches and the fastest as possible. And that's what the goal is when it comes to selling your home. And that's what we try to accomplish every single time. Well, that does it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. I do appreciate you sticking around for the ending. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't already, please click that like button. If you have already, I do appreciate it. It does help us to get these videos out there. If you are thinking about listing your home and you are trying to figure out what your home is worth and you're just you know really confused about it, then you got to shoot us an email. Shoot me a quick text. We'll set you up a seller's consultation and we will break down exactly what the market is doing, what's going on in your neighborhood, what's going on in your area, and we'll tell you what your home will sell for the current market that it's in. And hopefully that will be able to tell you whether you need to sell it or you need to wait a little bit longer. But that's what these videos are about. That's what we're trying to do to help everybody. So if you are thinking about moving to the area, if you haven't already, you got to hit the subscribe button. It's going to help make sure that you understand everything that's going on in Lexington, Kentucky and all the surrounding areas itself. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. This is Ben Murphy. I'm with the Deuce Kirk team here at eXp Realty here in Lexington, Kentucky. Y'all have a great day.